Hey guys, it's Jose and I'm back for another BTS update video. This is his real. Ooh, what was that? Hello. Hey, y'all. Oh. By the way, y'all clocked that cookie tea and my uh, army tea. Okay, anyway, let's get into it. So, BTS Festa 2023 is happening. I am talking about the actual Festa where we get content online for everybody, for all armies around the world. Because obviously, the one that's in Korea. Well, that's only for people who are going to be in Korea <laughs> and not us. Oh, thank you so much for watching, clicking on this video, guys. I I think I've done this for the past three, four years where I explain uh, Festa and the timeline that we got. You guys know the drill. Make sure to click that like button and subscribe if you haven't. That's the easiest way to support me on my channel, guys. But if you want to monetarily support the channel, you want to help me keep being a YouTuber, keep going and just keep delivering videos for you guys. I do have a Patreon page. I would greatly appreciate it if you're able to check it out, see if you wanna support me on there. I have extra goodies for y'all, stuff that I can't do on YouTube, you'll find on my Patreon. Again, the link is in the description below. Thank you so much. So the official announcement reads, 2023 BTS Festa timeline, hashtag 2023 BTS Festa, hashtag BTS 10th anniversary. And along with it, we got the graphic, the image of the timeline for Festa. If you are a new army, a baby army, or you just didn't know about this, Festa is a celebration of BTS's anniversary of their debut. Normally, it's from the start date that they announce through June 13th, which is the actual anniversary date. This year, it's going longer than before. It is their 10th anniversary, so it makes sense why it's longer, bigger, more special. We get a variety of content, so much content, guys. It can include covers, original songs, photos, live performances, dance practices, etc. Like, we can get surprised left and right. It is for BTS and ARMY. This is something between us, guys. And yes, it's a festival. If you are thinking like, is it kind of like a festival? It is. And as you can see by this image, these are all the graphics, timelines, maps, whatever you want to call them for BTS Festa throughout the 10 years. I've been lucky enough to celebrate Festa with BTS since 2015. I can't say it enough. Like you're going to love this time. Now this year's graphic is even more intriguing, I would say, than past years. So let's start off with the graphic itself. I'm going to be talking about it and then go into specific dates. If you guys haven't noticed, the graphic is like the game Monopoly, the board game Monopoly, with each space having its different image, a different date, different things that we are going to get. If you look at the spaces that have question marks, the Monopoly board game those are called chance. When you land on these spaces, you get one of the cards in the middle with the question mark, and it's a variety of things that you can get, that you have to do, that you're going to be gifted, whatever the case in the game. If we look at BTS's graphic, the cards for the question marks are labeled with a gift box image, which I think it's safe to assume that it's like a special type of gift, hence it makes it that much more of a mystery of what we're going to get. So the ones that have question marks are the ones that we really don't know what's going to happen. I feel like they're the most special. I feel all of them are special, of course, but those are the most where we're going to be like, oh my God, like what, what is this about to be? Those are the ones that we want to know. Another thing to notice about the graphic, guys, there are seven gift boxes on the board. There are seven gift boxes off the board. And if you count the dots or the numbers, you could say on the dice, each dice has seven. Genius. Like these graphics are always amazing. They put so much thought into these to make them that much more special for us. So like I stated, normally we have a list to go off of. We have a description of what we're going to get each day. But this time around, we can only guess. And I'm going to be giving you my guesses as to what we're going to get 
on each day. And I'm going off of by the image that's on the board and also going off of previous Festas because there are things that are custom to Festas. There's things that we have been getting every single Festa. So that's why I'm gonna go off of that as well because it's probably more than likely going to happen for this Festa too. So if we start off with May 31st, we have a question mark. Now, I don't know what that's going to be. Of course, we don't we don't know. We literally have no idea what that can be anything. It is important to point that it has a flag with the army logo and whatever content this is is specifically geared towards army. Your guess is as good as mine. I'm aimed to say it's the opening ceremony because for every festa, that's the first thing we get. And because the opening ceremony could be anything, it has been a variety of things in the past. It could very well be that. Then we go on to June 2nd. And what we have is a camera and the viewfinder. We have three figures. Can't say 100% sure. This one's, I feel like, one that I'm going to be like nailing it perfectly. Uh, this is going to be the family portrait. So every year we get what's called the BTS family portrait. The guys, it's new photos by the guys. It's like a whole photo shoot of them together. And there's a concept, there's just having fun. So obviously, since J Hope and Jin are not with the guys there in the military these photos are taken before they left and those will be posted uh on twitter with a link to their facebook uh if you follow them on facebook you'll see it on there as well usually it's on facebook where you get those photographs uh, but if you're on twitter you're gonna see them there too a lot of armies posted for us as well on june 3rd we have a graphic of popcorn a microphone and a monitor or a tv and showing like a spotlight a stage i think this is going to be a live performance hence the microphone the spotlight image and the stage the popcorn of us like enjoying watching it regardless of where it's from whether it's from a documentary a concert it's gonna be new to us as and we have never been able to see it on their youtube channel when it comes to videos these are posted on the bangtan tv youtube channel then we skip a few spaces. We go all the way to June 7th. We have a guitar, musical notes, and a microphone. Now, I think this is going to be a song, an original song or a cover song. And because it's a guitar, I think it's either going to be Yoongi or Jungkook. It can be anybody. But I think it could be Yoongi and Jungkook. Seeing as Yoongi has been playing the guitar on his concert and we know he can play very well. We also know that Jungkook have, has been practicing playing the guitar. Now, when it comes to original songs, they're posted on SoundCloud. I believe they also post it on YouTube, on the Bangtan TV channel. They're not on streaming platforms. Then we go to June 8th. We have a photograph with two figures and then we have a monitor with a play icon which means it's like a video so i think this is going to be a video maybe behind the scenes of the family portrait of a photo shoot hence the photograph that's on there so it could be um it could be another bangtang bomb it could be a special behind the scenes on bangtang tv of the process of it then on june 9th we have another question mark with another flag with the army logo again this could be anything specifically geared towards army as a gift i'm so eager to know what the question marks are gonna be guys are you ready to take that chance okay i tried to make a pun with monopoly okay <laughs> then we go to june 10th and on june 10th we have a calendar with the number six obviously for june two glasses like cheering like clicking um this is like a celebration uh, what I thought when I saw the drinks was the dinner because every year BTS has the Festa dinner and we know last year's was oof that one hit us hard and you guys it's okay to feel sad it's okay to feel happy it's okay to feel whatever you're feeling your feelings are valid uh, I like to look at this as a celebration we went through last year and I know this year is going to be hard because not all the guys are going to be here to celebrate with us, but they're doing this for us. My guess is that it's the dinner. I may very well be wrong because usually the dinners are more towards the 13th, but it could happen. Things could change every year. 
Then on June 11th, we have a film roll or a camera, feel like a photo film roll um, with photographs. And we also have a monitor with what looks to be like a calendar planner type of situation, uh, a list, if you will. I feel like this is like the second part of the family portrait. Um, it could also be a collection of photographs. BTS have done this in the past where they give us collections of photos from previous years, uh, spanning through the years. Like we get a, it's a variety guys. It's a lot of photographs of previous events, previous concerts, previous festas, previous, just previous anything basically. Then we go to June 12th and we have a graphic of a envelope with a letter inside being opened the hand signal saying I love you and what looks to me like a file an audio file with a musical note my guess is that this is another song whether it's original or a cover I'm going more towards original because of the letter and the envelope and the I love you I feel like it's very meaningful very loving caring type of song that i feel i'm getting off of this i know they're just images but that's what i'm getting guys i feel like this is gonna be a song for army then june 13th which is the actual debut anniversary date on this one we have a flag with the bts logo it makes sense it's bts anniversary this is their day but it's also a question mark we don't know what we're gonna get and it also has a little figurine of the end tower in Seoul. This tower is a big landmark in Seoul, Korea. Uh, you get to see like all of Seoul. Uh, it's beautiful. It's giant. It's very monumental. Hence a monumental day for BTS. So it's a monumental event, a monumental gift, a monumental content. I'm very excited for that one too. <laughs> Moving on to June 14th, we have a camera a photo with a microphone, and also a musical note. This could be a third part to the family portrait or another part of the BTS collection of photographs, like I stated, for June 11th. More photographs of previous years, more photographs of other events that they've done. But the musical note has me very intrigued as well. Like, could this be another song? I don't know about that one. I don't know if that's going to be another song, but it could also be photographs of music videos that they've done, like behind the scenes and stuff. June 16th, guys, we have a trumpet, a musical notes, and a microphone. This is a song. Like, this has to be a song. Just like with the microphone and the guitar, this has to be another song. Original or cover. But the trumpet, guys, the trumpet... It has to be Taehyung. It has to be V. I could be wrong, but that's what I'm gonna go with. And last but not least, we have June 17th, the final day for Festa 2023. We have a radio, two people talking, and also the N Tower again figuring, but with also fireworks, fireworks. I feel like the fireworks obviously is going to be like the ending ceremony, like the ending, this is the ending celebration of Festa. The fireworks, I feel like that's what it symbolizes. The end tower, because it's monumental, this is going to be big. This is going to be the closing of it. But the radio guys and the conversation image. BTS have done this in the past where they have a radio show for Festa. Not on every Festa, but for some. This one was like super special. Like the guys would sit down on a table and just have a conversation and the radio show it's almost like the dinner but it's not but just trust me it's special regardless this is really 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 exciting because if it's all the guys this means they recorded this right before Jin left that's what I'm thinking I mean hopefully all the seven all seven members are there um, and if not then maybe five members that are still outside of the military we'll have the conversation and maybe phone calls or texts by jen and j-hope i i don't know but this is really exciting guys i i hope i explained it well i know i talk a lot a lot of the times uh but it's just i'm really excited for this this can be really special for us this year hopefully you're that much excited you're as that you're as much i love it. you are as excited as i am wow that took a lot what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Like, comment, subscribe, share, and until next time.
Adios. Next time it's tomorrow. May 31st is the first thing for Festa. Mm -hmm.